Hello and welcome to the Mike Valley One Network here on YouTube and welcome back to Snow Time Sun in New Dynasty featuring another character from The Simpsons, Big What is a Prize. Featuring the one I want to do really badly. Yeah, this one's another Al Brooks one. This one's for this game, NCAA 12. This will be Brad. This will be Brad Goodman. Yes, Brad Goodman. I hope you guys are enjoying this because it's almost midnight, so probably some of these will be hitting into the midnight. Here is the picture. There's a picture voiced by Al Brooks. In fact, he's wearing a sweater. There's, well, we're going to make him a little large. Okay, extra large. There we go. Okay, let's see which one fits him. Ugh, geez, seriously, none of these guys seem to match. All these are balls except six. That one. Okay, we're gonna have to have a sweater vest, the first one is in this show. Now it's time to spin the wheel of alma maters here. Let's see, and he lands on Arkansas. This means we gotta go this way, and Arkansas's pro, not bad. And we don't care what that defensive is. Well, we're gonna find out. So we're gonna go Brad, has the save file name. So here we go. Let's get started. Let's begin the dynasty. Huzzah! So now we're gonna find out where he's going. So here we go. Defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator, USC? Nope. How about the team that fell runner up? UCLA. Let's take a look at what their offer is. Four. Jesus, not this again. Here's Tulane, the other runner-up. Let's see if they kept it offered. Nope, they bumped it up a bit. Brad Goodman. Here's Toledo, probably the school with the worst fight song. They have two. Lovely. Here's Texas A&M, a school that had a one-year. There, they trip. They give it to the max. Here's Texas. Let's see what they're offering. Two. Dang, damn it. I really want to do a Longhorns. Here's the Tennessee Volunteers. They offer two. Jeez, I'm getting trolled to the maximum. Speaking of trolls, here comes TCU. Three. Lovely. Here's Stanford. Let's see what their offer is. Ooh, a one-year contract. But problem is, this will be too easy for Brad and decide to get Eugene Rowe. Which is nice, but... But the problem is, he doesn't want... Eugene Rowe right away. But so he will consider Stanford. Take a look at South Carolina. They offer a two year contract, so they double up what they offered originally. Take a look at Penn State. They offer a three year. Here we go. Oregon. Hopefully they lower their offer. Nope, they went up one higher. So here we go. Oklahoma State. They tripled their offer. Jeez. So here we go. Here's Ohio State. They offer a two year contract. Well, here we go. Notre Dame. Oh, ID, 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 ID. Two. Not bad. So here we go. Take a look at Northern Illinois. They offer a one year, but I don't want to do two max schools in a row. Here's a Ar New Mexico State. They offer two years, which suck, but oh well. Here's Nevada. Let's see what they're offered. Three. Get out of here. Here's Navy. Let's see what they're offering. Two. Here's NC State. Let's see what they're offering. Three. Jeez. Just when you think we're getting lucky. Here's Missouri. Four. Lovely. So here's Mississippi State. Let's see what they're offering. One year contract. Take a look at the roster. Ugh, oh, their halfback's a 90. Where's their quarterback rank? Their quarterback's an 88, Richard Benjamin. 88. But he wants to coach somewhere nice. Taking a look at Minnesota, they offer a four year. So maybe Stanford may be the place. But before we do, let's check out Miami. And I just passed it. Do I missed? No, not that Miami. This Miami. Okay, good.
But just for curiosity, let's take a look at what this Miami's offers. Okay. But well, here's Maryland. Could Maryland get their own series? No, not head coach. And oh, there's a three, so this means this one has to be a one. Right? No, if that must mean it's the defensive coordinator that gets the one year offer. Well, they get a three, so three, two, three, not bad. There's, oh, here we go. Let's head to Arkansas. Okay, for curiosity, let's check out Indiana. Three. So it looks like we may have a winner. Looks like you may have a Heisman quarterback to work with. Take a look at Duke. And they have a one-year contract. Let's take a look at what their roster has to offer. Parker's at 89. David Parker. Problem is, that one's not going to work. Take a look at Clemson. Let's see what they have for a four. Huge letdown. Oh, let's take, a let's take a look at Boston College. Two. That sucks. Oh, here we are. We're approaching Arkansas, but first let's check out Auburn. Two, not bad for one of the Alabama schools. Here's Arkansas. No, not head coach. Oh, okay, good. This one's probably the highest. This one's probably a high one. Yep, it's a high one. So here's Arizona State. Yeah, the Sun Devils. Two. Oh, lovely. And oh, can we have the same luck with Arizona like we did last time? Nope, of course. Not good. What about Alabama? Let's take a look at what they're offering. Oh, two. Lovely. Take a look at Air Force. Let's see what they're offering. Two. Lovely. So it looks like we may have a winner of the Brad Goodman sweepstakes. And it is. Take a look at Virginia Tech. Let's see what they're offering. Three. Beautiful. Here we go. Wake Forest. Three. It looks like we may have a winner. By the way, let's check out Utah. No, two. Why? Take a look at South Florida. They have a one-year contract, and you know what? For the, like, the fifth time in the history of this network, we're taking our pa talents to Tampa. So Brad Goodman oh, didn't want to go Eugene Merrill, but don't worry. He will get his own. S I'm thinking of putting him as his own series here. Here momentarily, so here we go. Time to meet the, the South Florida Bulls, starting with Jarvis Morrell, an 85 overall quarterback. Then we got Mar Martin Williamson as the backup, and Kyle King is the third straight. Half back, we got Lamont King. Oh, my. Wait, we got two Kings. Lovely. Chris Irving is the backup. William Harris is the third string, and Michael Wilson is the fourth string. Take a look at the half fullbacks. We got DeAndre Christensen as the starter. And Michael Parker will be the halfback. And there's an open slot. Wide receivers. Here we go. We got Chris Horn, J.R. Jackson, Mike Kennedy, Zach Fry. Okay, great. We have another Fry. And he's wearing number 23. Ted Robinson and Chris Brett. By the way, what's our quarterback's number? 7, 13, 8. Okay, good. No one's wearing 16. So that means no comparison to Fry. Halfbacks. We got Mike Greenwood. Ray Hardgrove and Tawika Chance. Boy, is that a weird name. Okay, punter, we got Blake Sanders and kicker Ryan Flowers. So here we go. It's time to create the custom schedule here. First, we don't have a game. Oh, lovely. We got a game right off the bat. Lovely. So we're going to regenerate. Hopefully we get a better schedule. Good, but let's get rid of Notre Dame and <laughs> put in Arkansas State in. U.N. Monroe can stay. USC, they gotta go. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Oh, I know. Let's add the newest team to the Mike Romilly One Network. Hmm. You, if you guys know who I'm thinking of, you guys are gonna love me for this. Yep, Eastern Michigan. Other than that, everything seems fine. Okay. Oh, Army. What are we gonna do? How about Ball stay for the go? Yeah. BYU? Mm, how, about an, how about an FCS East? So everything else seems perfectly fine. That way I could fit this into one schedule. So here we go. And don't forget this Saturday I'll update every single one of these. Dynasties for you. Sunday will be the ones in NCAA 13, but we'll get to those in a minute.
So here we go. Time for the recruiting, and let's see who we need. All we need is all we need is centers. That's great, and um, yeah, you know you have a good offense if all your team, all most of your team is in the best players are the defense. So let's take a look at some nice centers. Okay, let's go to centers, and here we go. Starting with James James. The irony is stunning. Hopefully we can land him. Let's hopefully let's try it. Oh, I want to land James James. Yeah, so he's considering Minnesota. Why would you do that? I have no idea. Um, excuse me, we're playing in Tampa, Florida, James, James, jeez. Looking at Kenny Banks here from Georgia. Let's see if we can try and get on his board. Fan base, we got true fan. Ah, oh, apparently we do. Oh, we're Isn't that enough athletic facilities? We got a B. All oh, of them got an A, jeez. Very low, good. And this is where we... This is where we should offer. Oh, he's going to need more time to decide. Okay, we respect that, Kenny Banks. Looking at Charles DeLuca. Oh, goody, another DeLuca. Proximity to home. So we're going to screw Ole Miss. Why is he considering Ole Miss? I have no clue. And frankly, who cares? So we're going to offer the scholarship. And he's time to think this over. Athletic facility. We're going to... Okay. And looking at Chad Smith. And this will be the last recruiting for the episode. And how convenient. And how convenient. And how convenient. You wouldn't mind being on TV? Fan base. Oh, this is the least. And now this is probably where we're going to go for the kill. Right? Oh, we were hoping that he would get... Oh, I was hoping he would get an offer. So with that, that pretty much does recruiting. Because coming up next, we got Arkansas State to face. And that is when we will face off. And that will happen this Saturday. Or this Saturday. And this will be the last time I get to say it last Saturday. Because tomorrow, this will be all. everything will be updated. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the new episode, the new series featuring the South Florida Bulls. Don't worry, Florida fans, South Florida fans, I may do a series on your team. And sorry, Stanford, I think I'll find a way to make it up for you soon. I promise. So I think that's it, and I'll see you guys later.